oh my god, yes, look at that. Oh. Hey guys, so today we're off to explore the old Long Lake Gold Mine. I'm actually really pumped to do this. I've been wanting to do this for like four or five years now. I'm with Adam. Me, behind the camera. We got, uh, we got Muffin with us, our little exploring buddy. And then we also have our buddy, Braden, who's over there about to sink. So uh, we're uh, gonna head up the trail here. We just crossed uh, this lovely creek. We had brought hip waders, but we didn't need them. So uh, just up the trail here, uh, there's all the tailings. So we'll meet you guys back up there. We brought a, brought a drone. So we're gonna have some pretty cool footage and Muffin is excited to go because we've been sitting here for a little bit. So we'll meet you guys uh, up the trail when we get to the tailings. Alright, so we're coming up on the tailings here, uh, we're just a little bit farther down the trail and uh, it is a very large, we're going to have a few uh, drone footage, uh, drone images I guess for you because uh, to be able to see the full extent of it, uh, an aerial view is going to be pretty cool. So Jay has a life lesson if anyone sees tailings like this. Life lesson, don't lick the dirt. Don't lick the dirt, it's, yeah, it's very toxic. That's uh, <laughs> actually in uh, this year, uh, they're planning on, uh, I think they're coming in and removing all this because it's, uh, it has uh, arsenic, cyanide all that kind of fun stuff and all these tailings. Uh, I'll turn the camera around for you guys in a second, but uh, we want to get out here because it is going to be cleaned up this year. Hopefully, I think they're starting this year and uh, all uh, that's in front of us is going to be gone and they might be getting rid of the foundation of all that stuff. All right, so this is the coming up to all the tailings here from the gold mine. Uh, as you can see, it's quite, quite extensive. I think it goes on for almost a kilometer or more and there's still, uh, there's still another uh, tailing pond, I guess you could say, that's uh, up farther as well. So we're gonna uh, fire up the drone and get some cool footage for you guys of, uh, of all the tailings here. All right, so we just came in from over there. You can kind of see the trail and we got our first foundation that's just up over here. This here is the old cyanide treatment processing plant. So all out there is all the tailings from the processed ore. To actually get the gold out of the ore, they would crush it down into powder and then mix it with cyanide to extract the gold. The way this works is the cyanide reacts with the gold and turns it into a liquid compound, which is then collected. So this is just the second waste rock pile. You got some kind of gross looking water up here. Wouldn't want to go swimming in there. And then here's the rest of it. Maybe a quarter of the size of, uh, of the other one. And there's Jane Braden. So we're gonna head up to the mine, the just straight up there. Okay, so we're coming up onto the, the pit. It looks like it, yeah, it's still covered in ice. So this is where you can kind of make out the, where the tunnels used to be back in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. In the summertime, you can see all the uh, the blue water, but it's all covered up in ice still. Hey guys, so this is another view of the pit here. We're gonna put up an original photo on screen from this exact spot over a hundred years ago. All right, so the guys are trying to find a rock to toss toss down onto the ice. Um, but just straight over here where we just showed the original picture, we're gonna go over there. And that's where um, we believe the old stamp mill used to be. I'll circle the, uh, the building that we're gonna, gonna be going to where all the foundations are from the old picture there on screen. So we're gonna head over there and uh, film some of the foundations that are left over. So right here, here's just a view. Uh, there's uh, Jane Braden standing on a rock over there just of how 
how far down this is and how big this pit actually is. It's hard to tell uh, depths when you're not actually here in person. But they're about to chuck a rock off the cliff to see if they can bust the ice, ice down below. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, so um, from that picture that we, uh, the original picture of that building we circled, we believe this is the, the stamp mill. And it goes up quite a far away. You can see uh, in here there's a bunch of different foundations and then it continues on up top. But there's a really neat uh, dome looking building here. Oh, I gotta head through all this water. And my pants are soaked again. All right, so there's a date on top here. Uh, I'll zoom in on it really quick for you guys. I don't know. I think it's 1911, 1910, 1911. 1911 on that. So this is just a little interesting. Like I said, we think this was the stamp mill. Um, Jay, do you wanna you wanna head on the side there just to show them the side? Actually, there's there's Muffin. Our dog went in there for to show you the size. There's her, and yeah, it's a probably. pretty large little dome. So we're gonna head up top top of it now. You can see that uh, there's a stone wall and everything here. And just on top there's more workings where they would have had the, all the stamps. And even this uh, little area I'm in right here, you can see the, the foundation goes all the way around past Braden there. Yeah. And continues on straight there. So we're gonna head up top here. Oh, there you go, there's uh, Jay managed to get inside there. So that's, that's Jay inside this little dome that says uh, 1911 on it. So walking up uh, the hill here, it's full of debris. That's hard walking, don't want to fall down. Sorry if this camera work is pretty bad. So this is on top of that dome look. I think we were just at, there's that uh, down below there. And now this is uh, on top of the dome. Looks like there's a bunch of stuff mounted here. And foundations built into the rocks here. And you can see just off to the left over here that there's another uh, rock wall. Really good rock wall. Yeah. Rock wall all right here. And then towards over where Jay is over here, it gets larger. This thing was just a Oh, wow. That's nice. Cool. That's a pretty tall wall, too. That's probably what, seven, seven feet? Seven, eight feet, yeah. Okay, so we'll catch you guys. We're gonna scoot up top there because there's a few more workings up there as well. All right, so just down below me here is where that rock wall was. There's, uh, there's Jay. Now, if you look to over here to our right, there is a ton of different foundations here in the bush, all overgrown. Uh, me and Braden there were here in, uh, last summer, and you could barely tell what was here because it was so overgrown with trees. So that's why we decided to come now in the spring here just before they reclaim it to get a better footage of everything so there's giant honeycomb looking looking foundations here i'll go up top there later and get a better picture but there's a bunch of honeycomb looking foundations here where i guess the ore would be up there and be passed through and be dropped down uh, finally exiting here towers. old water towers i think so oh or like silos. Silos or somewhere could have been storage. Again, this is speculation. We don't know this for a hundred percent. This is just what we think it might have been. And there's the old slats there, like at uh, McMillan. They had the same ones like that. So up top here, there's a bunch more foundations. There's this cool wooden lined hole. My feet soaked for a little bit. There's Braden down there.
right, so we got the pit right behind us here. And we got a foundation over here that Jane and Braden are looking at. What do you guys think this was? Pump house. I don't know if you guys can hear, but uh, Jay thinks this was the pump house uh, to keep the uh, the shaft from flooding, which would make sense. It is right uh, right next to the uh, the pit there. Go straight down the center there. Down through here. Let's give it a loop around here. There's our exploring dog muffin. Just loops around over here. Oh, I'm hitting the mic with uh, branches. So it's not a very big building, so it might, again, uh, we're thinking it could have been the pump building to keep all the water out of the, the mine and pit. Yeah, this would have been a later addition to the mine because it's built on top of the waste rock. That is true. So we're also thinking this could have also been uh, either A for pumps or B because uh, you have the mounting roll, um, the mounting rods here. Could have been for A pumps or B. It could have been uh, compressors feeding air, uh, air to the mine. But like Jay was saying too in the last clip, that uh, it is a newer addition because all of this behind us is all waste rock. And this was built right on top of the waste rock, so this was a, a newer uh, addition to the mine. All right, so now we're on our way out, and we got uh, lots of bottles. Lots of bottles. It's a good day. Clanging backpacks is always a good day. So um, it's probably going to be the last time anyone's going to make a video out here because, like I said in the beginning, they're going to be reclaiming it. So I don't know what it's going to look like after, but all the tailings will be gone. The foundations might be gone, and. We just wanted yeah. to get out here before like it's too late. Yeah, before it's too late. So this is 2019 and yeah, we had a fun day. So thanks for watching guys.